you're in this first quadrant, it's going to be either present or future active. If you're in the second quadrant, it's going to be either present, active, uh, middle, or passive, or it's going to be future middle. If you're in the third quadrant, it's going to be imperfect active, fourth quadrant, imperfect uh, middle or passive. And so uh, just finding the quadrant narrows down the possibilities right away. Well, what makes it uh, a challenge to figure out what quadrant you're in? We have a couple of uh, endings that look the same. So we have the men and the tet endings here that look just like the men and the tet endings over here. And when we have the uh, Omicron and Epsilon uh, connecting vowels over with the secondary ending, it makes the endings look exactly the same. So how do you know what quadrant you're in? Well, if I see a men or a tet ending, the next thing that I'm going to look for is the augment, because you have, with the secondary ending, you have an augment. That's going to be the clue that you look for that's going to determine the difference between the first quadrant and the third quadrant when you have the endings that could be the same. So I look for the augment. If I've got the augment, I know I'm in third quadrant. No augment, I know I'm in the first quadrant. Uh, we have a similar thing at work down in the second and fourth quadrants because the first and second person plural endings are the same there as well. And so you need to make that same determination. Do I have the augment or not? There are some patterns here that uh, might be a little bit challenging for you. Once you figure out which of the quadrants you're in, uh, there are a few little challenges that you might run into. So in the third quadrant, you have two endings that are the same, the new endings here. Uh, is the new ending the first singular or is it the third plural? Well, I have to look at my subject. The subject's going to agree in person and number. So if I have ego as a subject and a new ending, then I know I'm first singular on the verb. If I have uh, autoi and the new ending, then I know I'm third plural. So uh, I look to the subject to help me here. Now, it can get a little bit complicated because I've also got a possible new on the end of the word here. It's not the ending, it's a movable new, but still it's going to look like a new at the end of the word. How do I distinguish there uh, what I'm looking at? How do I tell the difference there? Well, uh, I'm going to have an Omicron in front of each one of these because the ending is new, and so Omicron before mu or new. Down here, I'm going to have an Epsilon uh, connecting vowel because the ending is the nothing ending. That's an everywhere else ending. So if I have an epsilon nu, I know that it's got to be the third singular and a movable nu, not a first singular or a third plural with the actual nu 